Hey everyone, it's Deja from crochetheverafter.com. Today is another Learn a Stitch washcloth, and this one is called the Piggyback Stitch. So it's a half double crochet, and then you get this interesting texture by doing another half double crochet on top of the old one. So it's not very difficult to do. You'll see it's quite easy. And then we just put a row of single crochets in between each of them to get this cool texture that you can either work horizontally for short rows or make really long rows and work it vertically but I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, we're just using some 100% cotton medium worsted weight yarn and a 5 millimeter USH hook and then the pattern is right below so go download that and we'll get started. Okay to get started we're gonna put a slip knot on our hook and we are going to chain 24. So go ahead and yarn over from back to front, turn your hook down to reach to get through the loops nice and easy, pull through, and push to your shaft. So push to your shaft after each loop and it'll get your chains nice and consistent. Remember that your chains look like the letter V, so if you need to count them, just count how many V's you have, or you can turn it sideways and count this loop right here this single loop that's coming over across. That might be a little easier for you than to visualize the V's. Whatever is more easy. But get to 22 and then we'll start our piggyback pattern. Okay, we've got all our chains made and now we're ready for row one instructions. So what we're gonna be doing is a lot of half double crochets but in a different kind of way. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a half double crochet in the fourth chain from our hook because we're gonna have a chain one space at both ends of our work. So that's why we're skipping three chains. Usually that would be like for a double crochet, but we're doing the chain two, which is gonna count as a half double. And then this is like a space. So that's why we're skipping three. So we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna work into the fourth chain from our hook. So we're just going to catch that back loop or whatever loop you like to catch when you work into your chain. Yarn over, pull up the loop. Now you have your three loops on your hook. Yarn over, point your hook down and pull them through to get through all through, all through <laughs> nice and easy. And now we are going to do our piggyback. So to piggyback, we're going to do another half double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, but we're not going into any stitches over here we're actually going to go around the half double crochet that we just made. That's why it's called a piggyback, because you're piggybacking onto the previous one. So we yarn over, and then we're going to insert our hook kind of like a um, post stitch, except it's not going to create a cable, it's going to create this different texture. So you can see that I'm inserting my hook to this side of my half double, I reach through, I yarn over, which is going to bring that around my entire half double, and then I'm going to pull it up so that it's not all scrunched down. So pull it up above where your previous half double was, yarn over, and pull through all three. So now we have this little slanted half double crochet there that's sitting on top of the previous one. Then we're going to skip a stitch. So we're going to pretend like we worked that half double into this chain and we're going to skip it. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to make another half double in the next chain after. So we'll pull up our loop, yarn over, pull through all three, and then we're going to piggyback again. So we yarn over, go through that nice big hole that we have, yarn over, pull up your loop, Notice I put all my loops on my shaft, keep them nice and even, keep all my stitches consistent. I get nice same height stitches all the way across. So again, we're gonna skip our next chain. So you can see we worked into this one, we're gonna skip the next one and work into the one after. Yarn over, pull up your loop. Notice I kind of pull them so that they're all nice the same size and I pull it all the way over to where my previous one is. That's gonna keep them nice and consistent. Like that, and then you yarn over and work around the previous. Pull up. You can see we're getting kind of this cool, almost triangular looking stitch. It's a very cool looking stitch. Some more yarn here. Again, we're gonna skip our next chain. Right here, you see that loop coming across. We're gonna go into the next. 
slip our loop, yarn over, pull through all three, then piggyback around and up. I think you're getting the hang of this. Skip the next chain, go into the next one, pull up. This is another one of those easy patterns. This is just a two row repeat and the second row is super easy. It's just gonna be single crochet. But we're gonna go across to the end here and I'll show you what we're gonna do at the end. So keep going until you get to those last two stitches and we'll meet up. I think I'm just doing the last piggyback of the row. Now you'll see that I have two chains left. So you should have two chains, otherwise you might have missed skipping a chain or working into the wrong chain. So check your chains and make sure you have just one loop between each of your stitches. But I have two left. I'm skipping the next one just like I've done. But instead of doing a piggyback, I'm just going to do a half double crochet in that last chain. So just like the beginning of the row, go over there, how we had our chain two, which counted as a half double, and that chain that we skipped, we're doing the same thing on the other end. So that'll keep us nice and square rectangular right now, but once we get enough rows, we're going to turn into a square. So now for row two, super simple. We're just going to single crochet all the way across. So we chain one, and that does not count as a stitch, so we work into our first stitch. So sometimes if you're new, this looks like the top of our stitch, just like this looks like the top of our stitch. So this is from a half double crochet, so it creates this kind of chain along the side. So make sure you're not going under these two loops that's not the correct loops it'll probably give you a cool texture but if you want to get the stitch correct turn your work sideways and look for the top of v that's the one you want to go under so go to both loops yarn over pull up and single crochet so you're going to reach through both through that v that you see there to end up with both loops so we're just single crocheting across and we just come back and do the same stuff over and over. So we'll go back over our piggyback again now that we're working into stitches. So you can see that, but head across and we'll meet at the end. Okay, I'm down to my last two stitches. It looks like only one though. So be careful when you're doing this because that chain two is gonna count as a stitch. So you need to work into it. So make sure that you're working into the top of this chain two. You can just grab those two loops that are sticking out in front of you. Oops, yep, I'm, I'm having a brain fart. I was thinking I was needed to do half double. We're still on single crochet. So we finish off the row. There should be 22 stitches across, so make sure you have 22 single crochets. Okay, so now you know you're this is track. our pattern repeat. So we're going to begin round three with a chain two, and that's gonna count as our first half double. And we're gonna skip that next, or the first stitch, like we did for the very beginning, like we did the chain two and we skipped that first stitch. And we're going to work into our next stitch with the half double. And then we're gonna piggyback on top of that. And then we're going to work into the stitch after. So now we have actual stitches instead of chains, so it's a little easier to see. You can turn sideways and see that stitch is the one you're going to skip and you're going to work into the next one or just look for the loops coming across so we're going to go into that second one we're going to half double we're going to yarn over and piggyback again skip our next one half double and then yarn over piggyback these holes are nice and large from skipping that stitch so they're easy to see so we're going to continue this same thing we'll meet up at the end again just to go over that ending stitch okay last piggyback see we have two stitches left one and two which is that very first single crochet so we're going to do a half double in that first one this is our chain one from that row so now we have our half double and we're good to go. We're ready for a row four, which is just our single crochet. As you can see, it's kind of got this cool triangular effect. So I'm going to leave you to work on these rows because they are just the same over and over again. Do a row of single crochet. Make sure you always work into that first stitch when you're single crocheting 
but do not work in to the first stitch when you're doing your half doubles. So your chain two, you're gonna pretend that counts as your first stitch and start your next one or your next half double in the stitch after. So do not work into that first stitch for half doubles, but work into the first stitch for your singles. So keep going. You can either follow the pattern or you can make this as big or little as you want. But I'll meet up with you at the end when I have a square so we can put an edging on it. Okay, I finished my piggyback stitch washcloth. Move that a little. And I did 16 rows all together. So we started off with the half double down at the bottom piggybacking, and then we have that single crochet after. So you just count by twos where the kind of the big holes are. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, and 16. So I think I'm just gonna put a basic single crochet around the edge of this since the sides are a little bit um, thin because of just that half double or the chain two on the ends. So I'm just gonna turn my work, since I finished over here with the single crochets, I'm just gonna turn my work. Actually, no, I don't wanna do that. I'm just gonna start doing the single crochets down the side here. That way I get kind of the front side of the single crochets on the front side of my project. So this is the right side with the single crochets with the lines coming down. If you look at the back side of the single crochets, they have the little bars coming across the top. So whatever you want in the front, but I'm gonna put my single crochets, my border, on the front. So I'm just gonna keep single crocheting. Since I already have one in this last stitch, I'm gonna add two more to make a turn. So I'm gonna go right back into that same stitch. So that'd be like my corner, and this will be the first stitch down the side. Now since we're doing half double crochets, you need to space this out kind of um, a little bit slower so you can make sure that you get enough single crochets but not too many down the side because if you put too many it's going to make your washcloth fan out if you put too little it's going to make it fold over because it's going to want to kind of decrease it together so just kind of um, go for where your hook seems like the next single crochet could sit so this one looks like it could sit right here so i'm just going to go into one loop of what i have on the side to make a thin single crochet and then come over here, try one here. Sometimes you have to pull it out a couple of times as you go. So stop and look and see, are they laying flat? Do they look well spaced? If they don't, pull them out and put them closer or further apart, depending on what they look like. But I'm gonna go all the way to the side, and then I'm gonna do three in the corner here, and then work along my foundation, three in the corner there, do the same thing along the side, and then I'll do, hmm, I'll see if I want to put one on top of this last row of single crochet because that might make it look like a double on one side. I think I'll probably stop right here in this corner. So I'll get over here and we'll look at it and I'll let you know if I'm going to do one more row of single crochet on top of there, but I doubt it. So continue around and I'll meet up with you at the third side here that we do. Okay, I got all the way around the entire washcloth with the single crochets and I'm right here at the end of the round where the corner where I began over here so I just need to put a couple more single crochets crochets here to make up my turn and I've decided so I've only done three sides I did three sides of single crochet this was that last row of single crochet and I'm not gonna add another row of single crochet because then it's gonna throw off the top and bottom because you can see this one row down here so if I put another row it's just gonna look strange so I'm just going to go ahead and join with a um, slip stitch in the very first single crochet that I did here and then fasten it off and weave in so you can add another row if you want or even go around the outside again with another single crochet to make a thicker border totally up to you but I like how it looks with just the three sides from that last side not um, crocheted on because you can see when I hold it sideways it looks nice and symmetrical here so I'm gonna go ahead and weave in these two ends and then we'll take a look at the finished product all right here we are all woven in you can see that the four sides are all nice and even because we left that extra side of single crochet off 
I like this. It's kind of a cool vertical pattern too if you were to turn it sideways. So you could, I would think that would kind of make a cool scarf pattern because it looks very interesting. So that's one thing you can make like a really long foundation chain and then work the rows like this but when you know make it the length of the scarf that you want but then when you turn it it's going to be like a vertical scarf so that's another idea for this stitch pattern but if you have any questions leave them below and thank you for watching